the other month at the meeting we were talking about planes. And um, as a result of that, we had a couple of questions about specialty planes. So uh, I volunteered to talk today about a little bit about smoke shades. And I brought a variety of smoke shades from a couple of little thumb smoke shades. And they're cute. Um, I have real troubles with these getting the blade set properly. And the other thing, these are just edgers. Um, if you have a very hard project, they'll wear your fingers out real quick. So I'm not, I have them, but I'm not a real big fan of them. Um, the ones that I like are more of your traditional style smoke shades. The problem I think most people have with smoke shades is you buy the thing and you cannot use it. When you buy it, it is not ready to be used. It had to be tuned up just like a bench plane. It has most of the same features as a bench plane. It's got a sole that needs to be flattened. It does not have a frog, but it's got a, uh, a blade base that's got to be flattened. Does not have a ship maker, but it still has a cap iron that needs to be flattened and tightened. And then you're ready to sharpen the blade and actually do something. So it takes a bit of work to get one of these things ready to use. What is ready to use, they work pretty well. <coughs> There's a variety of these. Um, this is the most basic one, just got a flat sole. And this basically does the same job as a finish plan, number four smoother plan. Works really good on wild <coughs> terrain, especially if you've got just a small area of tear out in your project. It works real well for that. Couple of other kinds that we've got here. Oops. Here. I can get it. Clown card. Yeah, I just kind of like the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the yeah. Get a pickup truck. It's very flexible. Very flexible sort of thing. This looks just like the other one, but the sole is totally different. The sole on this is curved. And this works like a compass plane. It's a whole lot cheaper than a compass plane. Um, but if you're going to do curves, either gentle inside curves or outside curves, this plane works very well. This is a hollowing spoke shave. It works more like a, a carving gap. Works real well for hollowing out seats of chairs. Um, then I have a couple more that I did not bring. One is a roundover plane for really making round uh, wood, wood handles, tool handles. And the other is a larger version of the camera <coughs> so but it works a lot better than this little thing. Has anybody else in here used spoke shapes before? How do you like them? Well, I, I almost, I, I was out, I ran out of time this week. I was going to bring in about 15 different designs of spoke shapes. I, I would have an absolute fascination with spoke shapes and the whole range of things that, that they'll happily do and, and the different designs over the years. Because they're, uh, all of yours, of course, uh, that you've shown are, are 45 degree bed, basically. And right. You get, you get the, the traditional style that has the, uh, the, the blade with just 15 degrees or so of pitch, 
uh, they'll give you an absolutely glassy finish on uh, on ingrain. And uh, the, the, these spoke chains are not fantastic on ingrain. These to be ingrained, they'll go ahead and work. But the old the old traditional British style is just fantastic on ingrain. And, uh, and I've got you know I've got from from the Lee Valley miniature up to 22 inch Cooper spoke chains, and, uh, and they're all just fantastic. <laughs> they're they're an easy little tool to to keep going. Once you got them set up. So. Yeah, the trick is tuning them and getting them set up. Uh, everybody says, well, it takes a long time to really get good at using one. Not really. Not if you get it tuned up properly. Well, they're a classic kid's tool, too, because kids just take them. They, they love right. them. They just sit there ripping chunks out of wood as fast as they can. So. Yeah. <laughs> and relatively safe. It's a lot yeah. safer than a chisel. Yeah. Going to give it to a kid. Any other questions? I, I'm impressed with the variety. I, I inherited probably probably close to 100 years old the two handed variety, the old fashioned, I don't know, you could, I suppose, make uh, shingles, you could do uh, very crude work, but it, it'll also do very fine work. The two, two handle variety with the long blade, it's very heavy. Uh, but it would, it, it'll do, draw knife. Yeah. it'll draw, draw knife. Yeah. Yeah. Spoke shape. Yeah. I've got one of those. Yeah. Candy. Very, very sharp, very, <coughs> very quick work. Poor man's, poor man's plane. Uh, you know what uh, Dan Bullock says about a draw knife? What's that? His brother used to use a draw knife. And it's look on Dan as his half brother. <laughs> Yeah, when you're pulling that draw knife too, you gotta be very careful because yeah. it'll get you.